<laughs> Dan Perjovski. Why are you here today, Dan? I'm part of the seminar uh, Vessel organized and um, I'm an artist which uses a certain tactic which can be understood as an institutional critique, which was the main topic of this conference. What's this? Though? I don't know. It's somebody above. <laughs> Go on. Yeah. What kind of artist? What, what has led you to your work? I have a, I'm a kind of a contradiction type of artist. I've been overtrained as an as a academic painter and now I'm doing a melange between graffiti, cartoons and, and press drawing. And this is a process in my case who went over 20 years until I forge a language I can be very, very active, very quick, anywhere in the world, anytime, at any given moment. What is the last movie you went to see? Ha! <laughs> went to see it's uh, overrated. I think I saw it in my computer. And uh, it's actually, it didn't, I didn't finish yet, but it's a documentary about Francis Ford Coppola making Apocalypse Now. It's amazing. His wife did it. Really? What is your biggest regret? I don't have kids. Which piece of work are you most proud of? The last project. Which was? Every last project. When was the last time you were happy? Oh, I'm a happy nature. I'm always happy. I have a, like, a, like a battery to regenerate. So even in the most depressive moments of my life, I somehow, I think this is a talent, I get back some kind of joy. Do you have a middle name and does it mean anything if you do? No, but I have a, like, a, my, my parents gave me two names, like Sorin Dan, but that name I, I never use, so it's like an appendix. I never use that one. And like artistic, I'm known by Dan Perzovsky, like my artistic name. So, I don't know, it's like a leftover there or something. I don't know what I mean. <laughs> if you could have a different nationality, what would it be? I have two now. I'm Romanian and European, it's enough. <laughs> what is the biggest thing impacting the European cultural scene, in your opinion, right now? Oh, they have to rethink. It's like, the good thing will be is we, if we treat this crisis as a diet. And the worst thing will be if we are treated in a populistic way, so we are shut down. I think it's been a very complex what you're saying now. It's a very complex, uh, like, like Charles has just said, we don't have a clue what will go, what will be. Maybe it's not a bad moment though. Maybe it's a moment to refocus and rethink. You know? So if we can take it catastrophically and then it will go wrong and well. But we can take it only in a positive way. And maybe it's a starting point. I know that. I come from Romania. We were always in crisis. And we survived with the intellect intact. What's next for you, Dan? Uh, I have a conference back, back home in my, my native town in Romania, in Sibiu, Hermannstadt, Germany. And there's a curator network coming there. For, for their, their projects and we are hosting these people in our home, in our studio home for an evening. So this is the project. And then I go with my wife together, we're doing a workshop in the open school in Hayward Gallery. It's part of the you know cultural Olympics program. But I like this idea that in, instead of making a show, uh, exhibition, uh, these people create the opportunity for a very relevant and international like about 30 artists to teach, to do some workshops. So we do a workshop in London. 